In this video, we're going to talk about the dedicated search pattern that we will use for a CT scan of the abdomen and pelvis to evaluate for acute appendicitis. And the cases that we're going to go through in this playlist are acute uncomplicated appendicitis, so we will start with the basics. Now, as you can see, I have my axial series here my coronal. These are really going to be our workhorses. Sometimes you may use sagittal as well, but for many cases these two are going to give you everything that you need to be able to make the diagnosis. And as you're scanning through the axial, you may quickly notice that there's a lot of inflammation here in the right lower quadrant, and while that's important to file away, when we think about acute appendicitis, we want to be very deliberate and intentional with how we approach the evaluation. And what I mean is that we first want to be systematic in identifying the terminal ilium and the ileocecal valve so we don't confuse the appendix for terminal ilium. So to do that, we will scroll back and forth and we will look for a few structures. One is the actual terminal ilium. And as we're looking here, I think this is it right there and it plugs into the cecum over here, but we can confirm that by going back and forth and tracing that small bowel and just making sure that it plugs in here, and then it does. So that's the terminal ilium that we've identified, and usually the ileocecal valve kind of helps us notice that as well too. Here on the axial, it's a little hard to see the ileocecal valve, but if we come to the coronal, we can see the fat in the valve right there, and I'll scroll back and forth just to kind of confirm. But this looks to be our ileocecal valve, and as we scroll, this is actually terminal ilium, which plugs into that valve into the cecum right there. So if I can convince you, ileocecal valve, and then coming backward, there is our terminal ilium right here, which plugs into it, and that's what we see here on the axilla as well, too. So, okay, we have our terminal ilium, we know ileocecal valve. This is the area of the cecum where we would expect the appendix to come off. Now we know that we're not dealing with something like a terminal ileitis, which can look similar at a glance, but instead we have to look and find the appendix. Now in this case, it's coming off right here, and what helps us are these large appendicoliths as well too, but even if we didn't have that, we would know where to look for it, and if we kind of co-localize, what we can do is find it on the coronal as well, which is helpful. But now we know that this structure here is the appendix, and that it is not the terminal ilium, so we've oriented ourselves. So now that we know that we're dealing with the appendix, and we can look here on the coronal as well too, there it is coming off the cecum, and then going over here. Now we just want to confirm, is this blind ending? And as we go through, yes it is, so it's blind ending, there's the tip there, it's kind of pointing up, um, not quite all the way to the liver, but pointing up towards the liver. Alright, so we found the blind ending appendix, there are some um, fecaliths or appendicoliths in there, and now we can characterize it. So in the case of acute appendicitis, there's going to be periappendiceal inflammation a lot of the time. This is all that dirty fat, all that fat stranding compared with the clean fat over here, over there. Okay, so there's marked inflammation. Then I can tell you by measuring this before, you know, the, the diameter is well above six millimeters. It's about 1.5 centimeters, so we have a dilated appendix. The fact that there are these uh, calcium deposits, the fecaliths, that is oftentimes a good sign that you're dealing with appendicitis as well. And then the wall itself is quite hyperemic, and we can really see that hyperemia. Um, and if you kind of look on the coronal as well too, there are areas where the wall is thickened, you know, and here it's about four millimeters from measuring it um, before. So these are all signs that the patient likely has acute appendicitis. You have your dilated inflamed appendix, a lot of periappendiceal inflammation, the wall is hyperemic, and then we also have those appendicoliths as well too, which is very suggestive of an acute appendicitis. 
Additionally, we'll talk about it in the other videos, but this is a case of uncomplicated appendicitis, but the other things you want to look for are perforation or any focal fluid collections, but those will be discussed in the other pages about perforated appendicitis and appendicitis with complication of abscess. So, but for the purposes of these videos and this search pattern, we're really just focused on making the diagnosis of acute uncomplicated appendicitis, which we see here.